We're just over 316,000 miles on V70S and I have a little update for you. So it's Saturday today and on Monday I did 600 miles towing a car trailer. Absolutely fine, no problem whatsoever. Then on Wednesday, I was just about to set off on a 30 mile journey and the auxiliary belt started squealing. So I looked under the bonnet straight away, just expecting it to just be squealing because it's dry or poorly adjusted. And it was three teeth off the power steering pulley and the alternator pulley and the aircon pulley. And I just thought, oh, it's just some kind of fluke. Unfortunately, I was within 20 metres of a garage, so I walked into the garage and asked for a T55 Torx, which would allow me to... loosen the tensioner and refit the belt. So I refitted the belt and started it up while watching it from the driver's door and it popped straight off again. So I thought, right, okay, well, something's not right, but I couldn't immediately see what the problem was. And I was like, I was looking down and I was thinking, I swear the crankshaft pull is just a little bit off. It's not straight, it's not in line with the other pulleys. Anyway, investigated with the chap at the garage and we put the belt back on again. And while turning over the engine, the crank pulley split. Now, perhaps I'm not making this sound like a very big deal, but if this had have happened, so this is the outer part of the crank pulley, this is the old one. If this had have happened on the motorway, there's every chance that this belt could have got dragged into the timing belt, which is just there behind the pulley. And that is a common cause of major failure on engines in general. If the auxiliary belt snaps and gets dragged into the timing belt, immediately the timing is out and it ruins your engine. So there are two points that I'd like to make. I apologise for not changing this component when doing the timing belt. Now... It may not be a problem at 100,000 miles, but these cars are getting on now. When I did the timing belt kit, and obviously I did a video for it, I looked at this pulley and I thought it was solid. I didn't realise that it was two-piece. This, this part here is rubber. And it's very possible that mine was the original one which had done 316,000 miles at this point, 300,000 miles when I changed the timing belt. My second point that I'd like to make is how lucky I am with this car and the reason that I keep it going. It's, I, I, I drive it all over the country and the, the journey that I did on Monday was down to the south coast from East Yorkshire and back. It's never failed me on these long journeys. It always breaks close to home. I've had, and, and usually, there are problems that are my fault. I will take responsibility for this, but the car, I've, I've been incredibly lucky that it broke while just turning over, and it gave me that warning of knocking the auxiliary belt and squeaking. Uh, it's unbelievable look. I've had three blowouts, not the car's fault, one of which was in Wales. And this 
the strut on the driver's side the strut on the driver's side collapsed so this is actually a new strut so not the spring the spring's absolutely fine this part here collapsed down onto here and that only happened a mile away from home so of course i'm going to continue to run this car it's pretty much my daily at the moment I've had it from 232,000 miles all the way up to the current mileage of 316 and I intend to be the last owner. I've, I've had it for seven years and I hope it just carries on. So if you are looking to change the crankshaft pulley, please consult my timing belt video. And bear in mind that you will need a tool such as this or a way of locking this in position because that nut there is 300 newton meters, which is a lot. It's over twice what the wheel torque requirements are. So it's 300 newton meters to fit the crankshaft pulley nut in the centre. This torque wrench maxes out at 337 newton metres and obviously I'm trying to remove this, this nut. So it looks like the original one on my car might be aftermarket, so that's good and bad at the same time because it's clearly failed in less than 300,000 miles. Uh, one thing I would like to add is I tried to get a genuine part from Volvo and they gave me the a price of 80 something quid. Uh, I went to collect the part and they'd, they'd given me the drive, so the crank pulley drive that the actual cam belt attaches to, rather than this, what can be referred to as a harmonic dampener, I think. And... They quoted me on the this actual part that I want, and it was over four hundred pounds, and over five weeks delivery from Sweden. I have no idea why the genuine part is so expensive, but this is a BGA part, which is regularly. I've used their belts for timing and auxiliary belts. And this was just £55, including VAT. So let's hope this lasts. So thanks for watching. I hope that all your moon mileage cars are still running well. And I hope that you'll stick around for updates in the future.